Svechnikov, in my opinion, is still underrated. And this is why I'm making this video about him, specifically for this series that I've been starting up, because I recently made that Elias Pettersson version of this video, what it would take for Pettersson to win the Calder. In this one, I wanted to talk about what it would take for Andrei Svechnikov to win the Calder Trophy. And I think it's obvious that Svechnikov is making the NHL. That's kind of a given right here. But the first step for Andrei Svechnikov to being the Calder Trophy nominee that I believe he's capable of being is to just beat out Nechash. Because I think Nechash is probably going to make the team too, and he's a rookie as well, got all the momentum in the world right now as a former Pardubis alumni, but Svechnikov is definitely in that era where I could say that, yeah, he's probably going to be better than Nechash, if not at the same level. But Andrei Svechnikov is one of the most talented players in the draft, certainly has his name written on the Calder Potentials list. And a lot of people are kind of overlooking him, in my opinion. People are saying, oh, the Calder's going to be Dali, Middlestad, Pedersen. It's going to be one of those three. But Svechnikov has a huge shot at being able to do it, in my opinion. And I know if you take a look at the draft, Dahlin literally went before Svechnikov. So that is an indicator that Svechnikov will be below Dahlin in the rankings, right? Well, that's not necessarily the case here, because Dahlin went first overall because he is the best player out of the draft. That's kind of obvious. On the contrary, however, Andrei Svechnikov is much closer to Dahlin in terms of skill than he is to Kotkaniemi, Kachuk, even Zadina. That gap between Dahlin and Svechnikov is much smaller than the gap of Svechnikov and anybody else. There's a reason Svechnikov challenged Dahlin for the number one spot at the beginning of 2017-18. The only reason Zadina sort of crept his way into the number two conversation was because Svechnikov got injured and he didn't play all the amount of games that he could have. But Svechnikov is a guy who people were calling the next coming of Malkin since, like, early 2017. A lot of draft rankings a year ago had Sveshnikov as number one overall and Dahlin as number two. The fact of the matter is here that these two players are much closer than I think a lot of people tend to believe. Sveshnikov finished in the OHL last season with 40 goals in 44 games played for a total of 72 points for the Barry Colts in the OHL. His goals per 60 rating in this year's OHL competition was higher than Connor McDavid's goals per 60 rating in the OHL in his draft year. Just let that sink in for a bit. Granted, McDavid did have just a ton more assists. Andrei Svechnikov is a player who you can rely on at every single aspect of the game of hockey. He's six foot two, 187 pounds. He's a strong guy. And he's got that pure power forward goal scoring ability that allows him to just get right in there, force himself through the zone, get by guys, use his back to shield the puck from other people, and just drive towards the net and score every single time. He's able to do that. That's why a lot of people have been calling him the next coming of Malkin. Just his pure offensive play driven by a good sense of stability and a center of gravity that really allows him to do whatever he wants to do. It's just so strong. And it's not like his puck skills take a drop either. He's really good with the puck. He's got a great shot. And on top of that, he spent a ton of time on the Colts penalty killing unit as one of the best players out there. He's an all-round player. Good in his own zone. Good in the neutral zone. Hard, delicate strides pushing towards the puck. And fantastic in the offensive zone as well. I can go on and on about how good Andre Svechnikov is. His offensive ceiling is arguably at the same level as Elias Pettersson. And at the same time, Pettersson isn't really known for being a defensive penalty-killing guy. Oh, Svechnikov? He is. Andrei Svechnikov is literally, in my opinion, the offensive ceiling of an Elias Pettersson with an equally good set of defensive capabilities. Svechnikov, in order to win the Calder Trophy, he needs to showcase just how close he was to Dahlin. Dahlin can be the better player. That's true. But Svechnikov needs to have a bigger role on his club. Svechnikov needs to score at great levels, because he's shown that he can do that at the OHL level. Transitioning that to the NHL is going to be difficult. 
but Svechnikov has proved to everybody that he has what it takes to do that. And he needs to run away with this. He needs to get more points than Pedersen, more points than Middlestad. If he wants to win the Calder, he needs to do all of that plus more. He needs to be the Jeff Skinner replacement. He needs to be the guy who comes in on that first line and be an absolute beast of a player. Let's say that first line consists of Aho, Netshosh, and Svechnikov. All three of those guys, offensively capable players. Svechnikov needs to outscore Netshosh first of all, and he needs to build off of that amazing support staff that he's got around him. On the power play, Svechnikov needs to use his teammates to his advantage. Justin Falk, a great offensive defenseman, helping out Svechnikov and getting those points. On the penalty kill, he needs to showcase that he is the guy that he was drafted to be. A player who can definitely play in a two-way solid defensive role. And honestly, I think he's capable of doing that. Of course, will he? I don't know. Dahlin and Pedersen do have really good shots at winning the Calder. But Svechnikov's got a good one as well. And I know he was drafted behind Dahlin. That means that Dahlin was a better player, yes. But without a doubt in my mind, Svechnikov has the tool set to show that he is a more valuable player than Rasmus Dahlin. And with that, let's say a really good goal-scoring performance and assist playmaking performance from Svechnikov, good enough to put him at first in rookie scoring, with a big enough lead so that people can say, yep, he's probably the best forward, and an incredible resume of defensive capabilities and achievements within the NHL. I think that is ultimately what it would take for Andrei Svechnikov to win the Calder. Hope you guys enjoyed this video's reply to the Gaming, and bye. <laughs>